Hey everybody, it's John Birmingham. Yeah, and Al Bob, my friend, is going to tell you a story that's meant for entertainment purposes only. These are his opinions. This is his story that he's telling. And it's not to be taken literally, okay? And it's his opinion, not mine. These are his beliefs. They're in no way affiliated with my beliefs. Unless I was saying something on a particular subject that he happened to be talking about at the time. And here he goes. Here it is. I'm going to give it to you uncensored. This is the whole story. One shot, 50 something minutes, something like that. It's just under an hour. And here goes. No editing. This is uncut, uncensored. Al Bob telling a story about JFK and all sorts of other political figures and inside government stuff. Okay. Scared you. This one will scare you too. If the Nazi guys scare, if the Nazi story scared me, this one will scare me too. Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Okay. Hi. Hi, kids. Are hey. we rolling, John? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, John. Hi, TV audience. You two audience. This is your scholarly Dr. Owl founder. And um, so today, we're talking about JFK. And, um, you know, everyone has an opinion. You go on the uh, E, you know, the whatchamacallit, the uh, World Wide Web, and um, there's nothing hidden. Kids, I want you to go look up three things. One, geoengineering. Two, breakaway civilizations. And you should go look up a guy named Joseph Campbell and another guy named, um, um, what is it, Joseph, um, his name escapes me. But anyway, we're talking about JFK. And the movie JFK by, who made that movie, John? Stone, right? Oliver Stone? Yeah, I think he did. Yeah, yeah. He did. The I'm guy not... that did The Doors. Right. That movie has most history. is just a frame, right? So the painting inside eh, can be many things. But JFK was the son of a gangster, and he came from a gangster class, very similar to George H. Bush, yeah. you know? <coughs> and you have this over here. What's this? Somebody else designed it. Peckerheads. Peckerheads. You know where I got hey. that? Hey, <laughs> Peckerheads. <Hey, Fred Ridge. laughs> Wait, <laughs> somebody, somebody, <laughs> Peckerheads. <laughs> Peckerheads. <laughs> hey, <laughs> what is that? <laughs> what is that? They are Richard Craniums. They are Richard Craniums? Yes. What is Richard? Dick. What is a cranium? Head. So huh. they are dickheads. No, 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 no. So did you get that oh, one Oh, because Dick Cheney. It's yes. not a curse word you're saying. Right. It's, it's, a, right. it's a Dick Cheney. Right, right. So did you get this one? A message from Transocean CEO Stephen Newman. What is it? Oh, I, I'm not going to read that. Let's stick to the story. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so how did he get assassinated? No, you gotta, you gotta look at the whole story. Not just say, how did he get assassinated? Yeah. You have to, the more important question is, why did he get assassinated? That's huh. the more important story. Yeah. So JFK, his daddy, was a criminal. Yeah. How about this one? <clears throat> Here's a good one. I can't believe it's not treason. <laughs> okay. Remember uh, Fabio always going, I can't believe it's not butter? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what that's making fun okay. of. Okay. But it's true. I can't believe But you're it. not, like, super against the government or anything. I right? couldn't care less. 
You can, y yeah. It's just... I'm, I'm a scholarly historian realizing that every government is the same. Oh, wow. There's no difference between what we have and what Rome had. Rome had bread and circus. We have fast food and big screen TVs. Yeah. And you were raised by a black woman that breastfed you, and you have a rebel flag up. Stars and bars. Yeah, not to mention you were born in the north. Mm-hmm. <laughs> So it's it's difficult kind of telling City. what you stand for. When so I, I went down okay. to um, the well, South in 1969. There was a photographer in Hat Point, North Carolina. I realized that New York City was more racist than Hat Point, than North South. Carolina. Yeah, yeah. It's, because in Hat it's Hat hard Point, to tell. And what I realized... It's, is, it goes in trends and stuff. No, so it doesn't. It do, you don't think no, so? No, Some people are no, very adamant no, no, about no, it and no, they no. don't change. Race, and other race, people race, change. Race is simply the taste of the moment. Meaning right now, <clears throat> Muslims are treated way worse than black folk. And are scared, you know, oh! I mean, our police forces have been over the last 20 years defunded from taxpayers who they serve and paid for by federal uh, entities like Homeland Security. Yeah. So um, in the statistics that Homeland Security gives these police forces, they actually say that 100% of all rapes are done by black men, which is a moronic statement. Yeah, it's not true. It can't be. But has it always been that in the nineteen through the nineteen hundreds and earlier? Yes. They blame it on blacks. Yes. Or scapegoating. Or scapegoating. Or however, there's some some black people that are so intuitive. They they get up to the top one percent. Some of them have. Of course. Have not black a billion. Do, I think I think beings. there's some billionaire. You know, at least when, one when billionaire skin, or a few that are black. John, yeah. you are an African American. That is melanin challenged, meaning we all came from Africa, way, 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 way back. So we're all African American. But I thought that some people genetically came from a. Uh, I thought that some people came from a. Uh, that's where some people. Yeah, that's where I had speculated, but. Well, they uh, did. Let about, me look at Dick Cheney. Uh, or that, that guy. He, but he, we're he, all aliens, so it doesn't matter. Come, Dick Cheney comes from planet penis head. Planet, penis head. You know, there's, you know, okay. uh, planet uh, but nine. Dick Cheney some of us came from, Mon a lot of us came from Mongolia. The white, I think the white, maybe more white looking people. Somewhere in Siberian Russia and something buddy, about that. Buddy, if you look buddy, back buddy, far buddy, enough, buddy, we're no, not, no. it doesn't color, seem. Color I thought that maybe somehow the aliens had landed no, somewhere there no, and then no, mixed with the Africans. No, no, but then where do you. How do you define, do you think the melanin difference and the blue eyes and stuff like that is from a mutation that was um, John, sent down from, the generations no, and John, became more white instead of John, black? It comes from one's exposure to the sun. When you're living in the South Sahara... In a oh desert. yeah, when it's hot, right. you're you're darker. Right. When it's okay, that's it's the, that's the solution I had come it's to. White. Yes, yes. That's yeah, I what studied it. Is. That's the, all it I, is. I, I, I tried to um. That's all it is. Figure out what it was all about, and uh. Uh. So the class that's all structure. it is. We're all people. Yes, we're all people we're here. All that's the beings. whole purpose of it. Is it's like a test. No, it's like not a, a test. life test. It's no, it's, it's like no, you have to learn, no, grow, no, no, and then no, and then you can go to the other side. No. And we're all the same, black, yes, white. Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. why? If, we, you, if you're in a colder climate, you ended up looking more white. You got it. If you're, if you're in uh, a desert, you look more black. If you're black. in yeah. the heat, you yeah. look more black for yeah, some yeah, reason. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it's so you, to protect you from the sun. It's, ver it, it's actually literally interpreted as when you're out in the sun for too long, you literally get darker. Yeah, yeah, get So a for, for thousands of years, yes, those people live in there, after, they're yeah, darker. You got it. They got a better and better suntan. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Anyway, race is the smokescreen to class. Meaning, how does one-tenth of one percent, how does less than 80,000 people huh. rule the friggin' world when there's, you know, nine billion of us? How do they do it? By causing... Stress, conflict, and disagreement. When people are 
screaming at each other. They're not looking at that guy over there who's ruling. But the we're world. not screaming at each other. We and I aren't. But we're the, intelligently yes, uh, having a conversation. Yes. yes, but that's John. You have to realize that ninety-eight percent of all of humanity are stupid meat puppets, morons. Not all the time. Sometimes they're compassionate. Sometimes they're good. Sometimes they do altruistic things. But because of their social status, their class, they uh, act like a meat. They're programmed. They watch television. John, I don't watch any television. You know? I read books. You don't watch TV. You look at YouTube. So, anyway, back to Jack Kennedy. Jack Kennedy represented... So the Irish, when the Irish came here in the oh, 1760s, or you know, when they first started showing up, they were treated worse than black people. You know, and as they came more and more and more, um, especially between... 1760s? Yeah, 1760s. But by the 1900s, they, they had grown yeah, somewhat powerful. 18... They, were the, they were in control of the police in New York City yes, and most they, of the police in the United States. All they were the were the bully States. boys. All they, were, yeah. they were the gangsters, and that's what Kennedy's father was, a gangster. Your grandfather, who was chief of police, he's an Irish gangster. But not they did it legally. Right. And but what's the difference? Gangsters pay off... Yeah. Politicians. Now your your no, your grandfather, uh, well, because of all. But of he the, at the end of his life, he he after being such a powerful person, um, you know, and and a part of that, uh, probably getting a lot of money. But I don't know how much money he wouldn't say. And um, uh, he gave back. He was he was nice to people no he matter. Tried. He tried. Yeah, he volunteered. Yes, he he tried. gave back he tried. the rest of his whole old age. He, he had understood. an old car. Right. He, he didn't care about things as much. Yep, he understood. He he had a regular house. He understood. He had just re lived in a regular neighborhood. Nothing. Yep, yep, yep. Nothing really rich or anything, and Whereas he just gave back to people. Hills, and it's nice. I mean, they don't realize that. You know, they think they're on top of the mountain. They think they're in a fancy house, but they're 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 those quasi Mac mansions. Are shit. I mean, they're gonna fall down before this place. This place will survive another hundred years. All those houses. It may survive. It. This place may survive Not another four hundred. Yes. 400. Another four hundred. It's built just if like, yep. if the family generations keep up after it, keep yep, the yep, yep, yep. keep the yep, roof yep, yep, sealed, yep, 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 stuff exactly. like that, because. Yep. Because look how it's well built on a huge giant rock. Rock. It's rock. built on a gigantic rock, and it's yeah. seventy-two thousand bags of concrete. This ain't going nowhere. Yeah, yeah. The foundation is just unbelievably unbelievable compared to every house I've ever seen. Right. It's exactly. it's it's very and look how well it's it's stood up strong to my neglect. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I, you know, I've done nothing. That's to just this been place. some water damage. Yeah, but just little bits. I mean, it's it's truly amazing. Yeah, and yeah. messiness and messiness. Too much yeah. stuff. But. But we're getting past that, right? We're, we're yeah. getting better and better. But but how was he assassinated? We know the no, history. Why, we can't spend why, too much time. Why he, why, got he? It, why he got assassinated and why he got elected in the first place. Yeah. So Jack Kennedy, his dad, bootlegger, a money launderer, a philanderer, a crooked politician, um, and... Um, you know, really, really, where he made all his money or majority of his money was in the stock market after World War One to uh, you know the sixties, and he just played it like a fiddle. And so, um, how did he die? Uh, his uh, Jack's father, J JFK. Oh, JFK. Oh. We're we're gonna get there. Oh, but... you know, you studied all the history yes. of it. Okay. So, so Jack's family were very rich. You know, the nouveau rich, uh, the new rich, you know, yeah. and yet they had power. See, there were a lot of rich people, but they didn't have power. They had power, political power, social power, gun power, right? So, um, and uh, Joe Kennedy, Jack's dad, they had a big Irish family, you know. They had, I don't know, six, seven, eight kids. A bunch of them died when they were young from diseases. Um, Joe, the eldest, who was going to be president, died in World War II. And Jack, the second oldest, 
he was in the South Pacific, and he was, as a young lad, pretty sickly. Um, you know, he went to all the private schools, to Harvard, you name it, he did it. Um, he was shrewd, he was sharp, he was good looking, but he wasn't virile, you know. So he um, was in the back waters of uh, the South Pacific. And the again, oldest or second oldest? He's second oldest. Joe okay. was the oldest and he died in a, uh, air aircraft um, blowing up underneath him. And uh, so uh, Jack was basically just using his PTO boat like he it was his little yacht. And he kept running after um, girls, you know, the nurses on uh, the island. Uh, he would go after them. And he was a based... Do you have to reset it? No, I'm filming. Oh, uh, so... Uh, so he one night he's going across the strait over to get laid. And a Japanese destroyer ran him over. Now, that boat didn't do it on purpose. Neither of those boats were running lights. That Japanese destroyer didn't even know they ran him over. He was, going, kept, o he was going over to... Get laid. To be with these nurses. Right, to get laid. Across the river or yep. something yep. while he was in the war. Yeah, yep, yep. yep. He but he didn't have to fight or something? Not at all. Not at all. He didn't do anything except get laid and run around in his boat. So he gets run over. Uh, the boats get cut in half. The oldest, Joe. No, no, Joe died in an aircraft care, uh, aircraft explosion. J huh. Jack uh, was run over in his PT boat one oh nine. All those kids died somehow. No, for some funny way. The younger ones died, and the older you ones. You mean the then... Kennedy family? Yes. Yes. yes, yes. The yes. dead Kennedys. Because... The dead Kennedys is a band. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I listened to them a lot. Yeah, they're not they're a very, band. very politically motivated. But Joe, again, I said there's always consequences. <laughs> so Joe had so many enemies because he was such a gangster, did so many bad things. He had a lot of enemies. Most people were scared of him, of his power, so they didn't go after him. But I, I, I'm not necessarily condoning what you're saying about you know the uh, the uh, political figures, the Kennedys being. Um, gangsters. gangsters or anything, and and this is just your perspective. No, 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 no. And you, no, no, no one's no, gonna no, hurt no. you for no, it. No, no, you, no, 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 no. I, I don't History. know if I agree or not. Well, go or, read or, or it. Not. Go read a book, John. Don't just. I mean, everyone has an opinion, just like an asshole, and the same thing comes out of your opinion as comes out of your asshole. Shit. <laughs> so your opinion is shit. Unless you go do some research and look it up and read a few books, I'm I'm not putting an opinion on this whole thing. You just said you were. You said I'm just saying I don't I don't know don't if I agree or not. What I say, and but that's you, fine. But you may you that's could fine. be you could be having a, an opinion. No, um, were they involved with Hitler, the Kennedys? Yes, and so were the Bushes. Prescott Bush sold oil, bull bearings, and other war materials to the Nazis. All during the war, all the way to okay, the Okay, but I I don't know if I should put this public because I don't. It's already public. I don't personally. I don't. It's you know, I don't. I, I'm on the side of America and um, p American politics. Read a few and, books, John. And the history of America. Read even, a few books. Even going back to the Indians Kids, too. There's so, a book it, by a guy named. I mean, the Native Americans, as, as I call it. Howard Zinn. Oh, yeah. Howard Zinn's American History. Go read that. Go read any book by Norm Chomsky. Norm Chomsky is great. I, you know, eh. But what I love about Norm Chomsky, all his books are like 70 pages. He's very focused on specifics of a issue that he's talking about, where lots of other scholars write these tombs that are like thousands of pages, and it's like, oh, give me, you know, I'll kill myself now. Norm Chomsky, very good. Just 70 pages a book, and he really deconstructs the historical economic dynamics of where we are at. Now, he doesn't put forth any real um, positive um, fixing anything, but he's very good at defining a lot of the issues. And Howard Zinn, Howard Zinn's um, American History, is a, an extraordinary book on all the history that no one ever tells you. Like, um, a good example, during the Civil War, the only reason we kind of won the Civil War, no one ever tells us this, is that 
the real reason of the Civil War wasn't about slavery. It was about s states' rights in a way, but it was really about a means of production. It was about industrial age that's coming um, down the pike against the rural agrarian age, right? And the South was making a buku bucks from sugar and uh, cotton. And England, uh -huh. and England wanted to... That's why their Southerners are so into sugar. Yes. Sweet yes. things. Coca-Cola. Made in Atlanta. My children are, yeah, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. So, um, but it was like gold. They made... However, you were a little different because, you know, we don't necessarily go all for sugary stuff. Anyway, like, uh, so that's why England, their mother, England, their mother drinks. How does, how does anyone disrupt a family? It depends on the tea, you, get you the know. Siblings to fight each other, and that's what England and France. England and France wanted to take back America, so England was waiting uh, on the shores in Mexico, and France was up in Canada, and the thing that saved our butt was that. So England and France gave both the North and the South weapons because they had factories making cannons and guns. And the North, especially Massachusetts, Connecticut, the South didn't get up there. I mean, they got up to D.C., you know, they were in Maryland, they were in Delaware, but they didn't get up to where the North had their factories, where the South was being routed all the time, being blown up, right? So... The thing that saved the North, even though this was going on, the South was still winning because they had a much better army and they had much better leadership. General Lee was amazing. Our, our generals were drunks um, and corrupt and um, losing thousands of guys. So that's not good for morale. So we brought the Irish in from Ireland they were, and, <coughs> and drafted them as soon as they came off the boat. And the reason why we won is that we had an unlimited resource of manpower of the Irish. They were trying to escape the famine. In Ireland, the English, Ireland was their breadbasket. And all of England's food was grown there. And the only thing that the Irish people could eat were potatoes, because it's like super energy food, right? And then the... Um, the potato blight hit, and so the, the Irish were starving. And all of the time that they're starving because their main food, potatoes, yeah. was um, no longer, they're growing, you know, they're working out. So, the so the Irish people really suffered. Beyond like, suffering. J like, like just the same as the black people no, suffered. No, like the Jews in concentration camps. Really that bad? That bad. But how they many were killed? They lost six million in Ireland, the same as the Jews. Jews, and they lost another twelve million in Ireland on coming to America and dying in the Civil War. So the Irish were pissed off. They get there, and they they're living in New York City. Kids, go watch the movie um, "Gangs of New York." Who made oh, that movie? Scorsese. Yeah, Scorsese, because that really tells the story. And so the Irish rebel. And so they, you know, they're wearing uniforms, have guns. They start shooting the process and the, and the elite. And it was only on Manhattan. And there were no bridges yet. They just had ferries. They stopped their ferries. But they couldn't put the rebellion down. So the Northern Navy shelled Manhattan and killed a quarter million people. The only people who survived basically were the children because they were small and they were hid under the bed. But the grown-ups who were running around, they all died. Wow. One night, quarter million people. That's awful. Yes. And they because killed they're, everyone. Because the they're Irish, politically the, outspoken, maybe. What? Maybe because maybe because uh No, they were having they a stand they, for they something? were having a rebellion. Oh. Ugh. No, no, they weren't they couldn't give a fuck about politics. They were killing any Protestant banker they could. And um, because they had enough, they had, you know, 20 years of, you know, their their species being obliterated. You know, the Irish people yeah. were being wiped but, out. But George Solanovich was very, it, George Solanovich's father was very politically outspoken. Yeah, but he you're, didn't you're die. mixing, you know, George Solanovich's father was Russian. 
we're talking yeah, about the Irish something here. totally different. Yes. But was Apples the leader of Ireland a, a total uh, uh, in opposing person towards certain political powers that the were just who, overwhelming? Who, the people who ran Ireland were the English. They owned it. They owned the people. They were slaves. They were serfs. They owned really? them. Ireland? Yes. yes. Yeah. When? Forever, up until 1960, 1927. Ugh, that's yes, awful. Yes, forever, up to 1927. And that's the Romans, you know. What happened then? You hear about St. Patrick. St. Patrick was a Roman They were scholar. made free, somehow? Yeah. What well, happened? Well, they then? had a rebellion in Ireland. And Political they kept, ideology shifted. And they kept... And they became good in, their, in the England's eyes. No. They just kept blowing things up in England and shooting uh, English people, and and there was no upside to it, so England left. Pretty much every rebellion works that way. You either kill all the rebellion people, or the rebellion people wear down um, the oppressors, and then the oppressors, okay, okay. And that's what happened to Rome. You know, the Romans... Uh, we're throwing the Christians into the Colosseum, getting yeah. eaten by lions, and the Ro and the Catholics, who were Jews actually, um, never gave up. Yeah. So at a certain point, the Roman elite decided, at the Council of Mycia, to go from pagans one day to the Holy Roman Empire the next day, because when they were had an, a pagan empire. They had the biggest army. They could kill you. They could oppress you, yes. But when the Catholics, the Holy Roman Empire became, they not only could kill you, oppress you, and take all your stuff, they could control your mind hmm. and the Catholic Church and tell you that you were going to hell if you didn't do what they told you to do. The Catholic Church? Yeah. John, you need to read a few books. <laughs> uh, nah, I don't need to, but... Well, you, you need to open your mind. You need to see what's going on. You have children. You yeah, want, you want saying, your children to live... I, in, in I know totally, that about... I know uh, that about religion. Oppressed. I know that the Catholic Church has, has has been in holy wars and caused people's deaths over yep, yep. religion. And raped and, children up until uh, today. You oh, know? I that's mean, all awful. those bishops in uh, New England who, who got hmm. away from... With being pedophiles for all those years. Yeah. Yeah. Mm, yeah. Because uh, you went to Catholic school and you had to, to deal with them. I went to friggin' seminary to be a priest. And it was so corrupt, I couldn't stand it. And there were some guys, you know, the only reason I'm alive is that the head guy there thought that I was what the Catholic Church needed, like fresh air. And. He was, you know, he 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 couldn't do it because he didn't want to put his butt on the line. Yeah. But he thought, okay, you'll be good for this, and I'll kind of protect you. He did. He, he, you know, he kept me from dying. So. Yeah. But this is humanity, John. This is what humanity has been since, you know, back in Phoenicia. You know, Phoenicia. Mesopotamia, Egypt, Babylon, Greece, Rome, Spain, England, they're all the same. All the same. And that's why... When they're powerful enough, people... Once you get power, once you get power, you don't want to let it go. What about Obama? What was his thing? His father was very powerful in Kenya. Oh. So, bottom line... You know more about the the older uh, American history in the in the past century, and I, I think I know more about the the newer American history as because I'm younger. Well, not really. I've been involved in it my whole life. Obama basically, but I, I mean all of American, all of world clone. history. I know something about. Well, did you know that that Obama's a clone? What do you mean a clone? Meaning. He has been genetically engineered. Where, where did you get that information from? And just looking at him. Go online. 
all this stuff. What, what, don't take, what about, hey, what don't about? listen to me. Don't even believe. What about Go him? check it out for yourself. <laughs> what about him do you think, what about him do you think is? Well, just look at him. If you were to take photographs of Obama, when he was senator, when he ran for president the first time, when he became president, um, when he ran for president the second time, um, when... You think there were a few of them? Twins, sort of? No, oh, clones. Clones. Clones, okay. You know, popped out of a bottle. And you look at him... So if he got assassinated or killed or attacked, Does there'd matter. still be another one. There'd be another one. Do you think that's sort of how Hillary or... Yeah. Well, Hillary Hillary's, Hillary's different. No. Correct. There's only one of her. Well, I have no idea. I'm sure she has body doubles. Because when she fainted, um, and, you know, in the 9-11... That, they, maybe that's what, with with her uh, uh, health problems, because there's only one of her. No. The other ones can't all, you know, be attacked with the... They can't blame the, the health problems on the on one of the other ones. Right. She looks better. So when the 9-11, when she fainted at 9-11... I don't know. This is, up. you know... I don't know Kids, if this is this true. This is or not. what is known as supposition, right? This isn't my opinion. I have no opinion on this. What this is is supposition, meaning I've read too many books. Look at all these shelves up yeah. here, right? Yeah. They're all empty now, but they were full of books. It, just in this house, I had 2,000 books. Yeah. And uh, I read them all. Not only did I read them all, I read them all like four or five times. So. I have been exposed to many different opinions, beliefs, and suppositions to the point okay. where I don't believe anything. I only have faith. I have faith in God's love. And I, when I say God, that is an erroneous word, right? It's a, it's a Latin root. What is truly more sincere is nature represents God. Yeah. If you want to see God, you look at a flower. You look at a leaf. You look at a snowflake. You know? You want to see God. And, um, you, and God's most important thing is God's love. And, and the most important thing of God's relationship with this world and, and this universe is what is known as co-creation. So when a man and a woman have a child, why that is so sacred is because it is creating another life, another vessel for a soul, for God to send into this world another soul. Now, right now, there's a thing called transhumanism and cloning, which is already perfected. Has been They've been playing around with it since the 1890s. The Nazis, because they had an unlimited... Um, you know, human beings to experiment on that were all from a singular, you know, um, racial crew. Um, they basically broke the um, the keys. You know, they under they found out like the Germans when they do research, like aniline dyes. Just one thing, they spent a billion man hours on just aniline dyes. What is an aniline dye? Aniline dye is um, basically a building block of the plastic world made from oil. First it was coal, but a hydrocarbon. It's a hydrocarbon molecule. And they spent a billion in this. In the aniline family, there's, and within the carbohydrate, you know, you know, within the um, carbon molecule, there's lots of families of like um, benzene, um, gasoline, there are all of these mm. different chemical families. Okay. And then not and the German, you know, um, I.G. Farben spent a billion man hours on one, just one. What is it? What does it do? Well, it's the building block of our modern oil-based, uh, coal-based uh, civil industrial civilization. That's where it all came from, them. Their research. The gas and cars. Yeah, yeah. Stuff much. like that. Yeah, stuff like that. 
But they already had gas before that. Well, they did, but I'm talking about from the 1790s to uh, 1930. A billion man hours is a lot of hours. Can't do it in a weekend. And, um, you know, you just look at all the research. Who did what? And, and because from the Enlightenment until that period, France owned science. And before that, Newton, England owned science. And, um, and then the Germans turned science into an industry. And that's why um, the United States, because after World War II, the uh, German people were bombed into the Stone Age, but the Nazis, and not only the Nazis, the, the people who people didn't even know, and that's why I say Hail Hydra, there was within the SS um, organizational structure, there was a, uh, what started National Socialism was a thing called um, the Thule Society. And those guys were a cult kind of based, and they were looking at science in a different way. And um, like how everyone else was looking at science, they called Jewish science. Yeah. And they were looking at science more how people looked at, um, oh, what is it when you change alchemy? They were looking at them more, you know, like when we talk about dark matter and when we talk about um, parallel yes. civilizations and that kind of physics, that's the physics that came out of these guys. And so from the mid-20s to the mid-40s, the Nazis or this other breakaway civilization yeah. basically... You know, perfected genetic engineering, perfected zero point energy, free energy yeah. from Tesla technology. Yeah. In in the night in nineteen thirty six to nineteen forty one, they went to the moon. Right? And all the things that we see are flying saucers are their aircraft. Who who's? The Nazis. Again. The, really? break, the breakaway civilization. That's why. What about kids, Americans' aircraft? We have them Amer too. Americans' aircraft. We have them too. But see, what happened was at the end Aircrafts. of World War II, the United or States. Aircraft, if it's only one. At the end of World War II, have, the United States, the, uh, through Operation Paperclip, brought 70,000 of this breakaway Nazi uh, scientists into our government. And that's who the S, NSA, CIA, all those alphabet guys, NASA. Look at Dr. Werner von Braun. But and, do you th what type of uh, aircraft do you think the rest of the world have? Do you think they have think certain aircrafts that the public just does not know about? I'm again, pretty sure again, they do. Again, see, you are, are viewing the world. They must the, have that because there's certain again, things that have you to are, be you are viewing the, the world in nation states. They don't exist. Nation states don't exist. We live They're underground political groups that yeah, we don't know about. Transnational political organization. The United Nations is one. Council on Foreign Relations. The Builders Group. All right. Club what, what, tell me more about these Af aircrafts that you heard about. I mean, people see them all the time. They're called flying saucers. But do you think they have some that can conceal themselves oh, so yeah. you can't see them in the sky? Yeah, yeah, and yeah, maybe yeah. they can manipulate clouds so yeah, that yeah, they can yeah. be you hidden know, in clouds. There's a thing called HARP. Um, you know, there's chemtrails. I mean, they are, they are, and that's when, kids, it's when I say, go look up geoengineering, that's what that's all about. When I say, go look up breakaway civilizations, Joseph P. Farrell, that's the guy I was thinking of. He has 20 books on this. He's an amazing historian and he's totally like a pit bull. He goes after every flick of information. Oh, yeah. So, the this, this stuff is out there, gang. You know, don't take my don't believe a word I say. You know, go check it out for yourself. But if you want to, you know, you know, you know, de-evolve into self-pity, into fear, into um just watching the screen and eating fast food, 
you know, well, you know, that's what the man wants you to do. And that's fine, you know? So you die. Who cares? I but don't. everybody dies. Yeah, everybody dies. And even those elite groups are just human beings. No, they're trying to be, they are playing with this thing called transhumanism, where they're, gonna, they're trying to live forever. Kids, go watch a movie yeah. called Zardos. I wanted that at one time. Why would you want to? That's like... Because as a way to max out on the life experience and actually live longer. Well, fuck it. Die, come back again in reincarnation. Yeah, yeah, and that's the whole point. When they play God, it gets fucked up yeah, and bad. Yeah, it gets fucked up, and that's and, where we're at now. And We've been there before, gang. I realize that now. I used to want that when I was younger. Right. Live, It turned into living 150. The first idea I had was living 150 years, and I wanted to experiment genetically as I got older and more money, and then I wanted to live... A, a th At one point, it got to the point where I thought... It's very realistic. I could live a thousand years. You know where Bill Gates is putting uh, all his money? But but it's the wrong way because right. the the reason why we're here is to learn from our life experience and you then you just it. die and you're reincarnated. Yes, yes, yes Or yes, yes. if you haven't fi quite figured it out yet, you're reincarnated. Right. Or you just go you, to the other ascend. side. It's unanimous. You ascend. Uh, so many people it's, have, ha have have a near-death experience or they die, come come back to life. And they experience the out of body. Right. What when they see their body yep. hurt or whatever that. it was. I, I had that experience. Yeah. And they Six go times. into the light and they see their loved ones. Right, right. And, exactly. and it's you have the light renewal, yes. It's and, irrefutable yes. because so many people agree on it. Yep, so yep, many yep, yep. So now many people some, have experienced some, the same thing, so it's like, why would you want to just keep living longer in right. this, in this life just because you have more money or right, whatever? Right. Being exactly. mean is mean right. as anything, exactly. and it's not really worth it. You might as yep. well, uh, kind of leave well enough alone yep. and just go along with life. And yep. we're all the same anyway. To learn. We, you, we, you learn. I, You're yeah, here to learn. Yeah, you learn, and then you go to the other side eventually. I don't think there's a hell. I think it's all on earth. Right. If you really are mean nah. as mean as anything are, on you this one, prime, you, it's you karma. Are, you will have to learn because eventually live, in time. You may have many lives. You live if it's in too hell much to learn and in and heaven at the same time. I'm observing you. <laughs> you are. Oh, I feel so bad. Oh, I want to die. Oh, it's the worst. And then, oh wow, I love it here. I'm. I'm. So, I just. I, I'm ecstatic. You live. That's what life is. Yes, and you Good live and it. Bad. Yep. And so you live it. You're the prime example of it. Yeah, yeah. Like right. anyone else. Right, like anyone else. No matter how much money I have, right. no matter how much success anyone has is, or John, money or power, the difference between which you is not and necessarily else good, is that the majority of the population is kidding themselves. You actually have the guts to live your life in a state of experience. Most people don't do that. Meaning they, they go off the deep end in, you know, food, drugs, rock and roll, whatever. No, you actually go for the gusto of your life. Yeah. So sometimes you're miserable, other times you're ecstatic, you know. And you're learning to navigate through it, to have yeah. the life you want rather than the life yeah, and it's not always easy. Sometimes it's difficult. Yeah, it's always hard. You can't demand it be good all the time right. and hurt others and scapegoat right, others right. and empower yourself right, right. through meanness right. and evil. And that won't work. Uh, it doesn't it doesn't work. I mean, some degree of it's inescapable because we're animals of instinct and and that's what li life is about, good and evil. That's an illusion. The Why do you demand to have your your perspective? Why no, no, I'm just giving you an alternative. This is my perspective. Okay, so I'm just giving you an alternative. I'm saying it's right. Oh. Because basically, if you look at humans, we, we are... We sin. No, no. The or sin, evil. No, we commit evil according no, to are, nature. We are, we are the only species on this planet that is the alien. According to survival of the fittest no, 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 is what no, I'm no, talking no, no. about. That is alien, meaning we do things outside. I mean, all you have to do... You look at a pride of, of lion, and they're hanging out by the water hole. Well, this is the only water hole, so the wildebeest are there, the, you know, uh, every other animal, the gazelles are all there, the yeah, zebras. like humans are animals. Right, and so, but they're all not a problem. 
But then the lion goes, hmm, hungry. So he gets up, and and every time I watch this on television in a nature show, pretty much everyone realizes, okay. So they all kind of move away out of, of the range of the lions. And there is left Larry, who is like, do-do-do-do-do-do. He's not watching, and he's not going with the rest of the crowd. He's got a hurt leg. So he's like, uh, you know, so he's thinking more about his hurt leg. But then he looks up and he sees the lion, uh-oh, I'm going to get eaten. So he runs away and he runs not towards the crowd. The smart thing would have been to go towards the crowd. Yeah. He goes away and the lion runs after him. And after a certain point, okay. the, the animal falls, the lion pounces and kills him. Bang, doesn't mm. screw around with him, doesn't torture him, doesn't electrocute him, you know, doesn't water border him, just kills him, eats him drags him back to the rest of the family, everyone has lunch. Then everybody goes back to the water hole. Humans don't do that. We're the only species that screws with each other and everything else. What do you mean? Well, you don't see, uh, you know, orangutans building power plants polluting the planet. You don't see uh, giraffes driving hmm. billions of cars. You don't see, um, you know, uh, cheetahs drilling for oil and... Uh, you know, obliterating whole continents for coal. No, we're the only ones who do that. And it's not survival of the fittest because you just have to logically look at what we do and realize um, that we are fucking ourselves. Meaning, you know, this whole thing about global warming and blah, 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 okay. right? Yeah. What we are doing by our activities, uh. human beings are like salt on a potato chip. We're kind of tasty, but we're not going to make a big difference. Now, the shit that we do affects us more than anybody else. Huh. And that's what's going to happen. So it makes no sense. It's not like survival of the fittest, because if we were really smart and, yeah. and we're looking at surviving, we wouldn't do all the crazy shit. We wouldn't have wars. We wouldn't let famine wipe out whole crews. We wouldn't let children be yeah. um, you know but abused. that's what war is about like our group is being at, at risk or endangered or have our resources taken away by some other group so we fight and try to kill or attack or minimize them or hurt them and take control over them so that we can live longer and be more stronger and get rid of anyone else who's hurting us that's an illusion it, that, which is that, terrible that, that is if, a, if it's that taken is a too far cartoon story told to us by <laughs> the power elite because they're on every side. Did you ever see the picture of Stalin, FDR, and Churchill there in Tehran after the war? They split up the world, you know? And you they don't said, believe negativity is needed? No. It, you don't think it helps? No. Nope. But I've gotten very powerful using... Were you happy? ...hurting others. No. <laughs> but it was terrible, and yes. I would never want to live that way again. Exactly. It's no way to live, constantly driven by fear and... Yep. It's you can't really escape the bad no. while you're on earth. You can minimize it and have all the worldly possessions and everything. Exactly but uh, it's no no it's reason to be an e evil time evil time. <laughs> Look at this. It's your birthday. You want one of these? There you go. <laughs> okay, that's the end of the story. But, but JFK okay. in a nutshell very quickly so how'd, JFK, he, how'd so, he die? Okay, so JFK gets elected because he represents the power of weight. Now, he's totally fucked up from his accident with the PT. You know, he broke his back. He's like in misery. And JFK? So, yeah, JFK. Okay. The whole time. And so he looks so From what? By getting run over in World War II. He was in his PTO boat going JFK after JFK and, and nobody knew when he was running for no, president? Not everybody knew. They knew he had a back problem? Yeah, of course. He wore a brace. He, you know, he was in bad shape. They just didn't, you know, focus on it. Because he was rich and powerful. Well. How'd he die? So. He's taking every drug there is. I mean, he's taking um, steroids to be buff. So JFK? Does, yeah, oh yeah. He was, he was a juice freak, big time. No, yeah. really? But he didn't lift weights. No, he just took juice. Huh. He couldn't lift weights. His back was broken. He was he was in bad shape. And his he had a doctor 
Not the White House doctor, his own doctor, and the doctor's name was Dr. Feelgood. Oh, great. That doctor shot him up with every drug known to man, every yeah. opiate, every... And so Jack was taking hallucinogens, you know, LSD, and it opened up his mind for him to realize, oh, wow, I'm actually going to die relatively soon, right? Yeah. So I might as well do something that no one else has done. So what does Jack do? He basically says, after Bad Pigs, I'm getting rid of the CIA. He yeah. realizes the Nazis... Yeah, just turn the light uh -oh. on. No, oh, here. Oh, here. Yeah. oh, okay, thanks. That's better for the, yeah, for the lighting. Uh -huh. Yeah. Well, he wants to get rid of the Nazis in our government. So he's going to destroy the NSA. He's going to destroy the the thing that they put in... He wants to get the no rid of the Nazis? Yep. In JFK the, in, does? In our government. In the, in the United States government. You got it. But it's almost impossible. Right. So, but he, he through executive orders, he, he wants to get rid <laughs> of the Federal Reserve. John, do you know that the Federal Reserve hmm. has nothing to do with the government? That it has as much to do with the government as Federal Express has to do with the government. And it's totally against our Constitution. Not supposed to print money. Only the Treasury is supposed to do that. It's yeah. in the Constitution. But they do. And they charge interest. Every dollar that you have in your pocket is worth a dime. The other 90 cents is interest. And that's what that big, oh, we have $10 trillion debt. Well, that's from the Federal Reserve. So, how, how, does, how did JFK die? I'm getting there. <laughs> it's like... The more important really thing is me. why I just want to he eat died. this thing. I have to pee. Well, you know, take a break and go pee, or videotape yourself peeing. No way. Yeah, yeah. No, I have throw, decided throw, against throw that. Throw that big horse head. No, never. <laughs> You're gonna have to do a lot of editing on this one. Well, okay, I'll I'm, cut straight to the chase. So when. Kennedy gets shot. He gets uh, shot in Dallas, uh, Texas. LBJ's uh, home turf. LBJ was one of the people who killed him. Plus, he hated Kennedy. And he wasn't going to be vice president next time around. Um, and he wanted to die so he could become uh, president. He was never going to get voted in. He realized that. He was such a schmuck. So, he was shooting at him. The CIA was shooting at him. The oil guys were shooting at him. Everybody, it was like JFK, you know when you go to a carnival and there's a little metal duck and it goes down a track, you hit it with a BB gun, bing, it goes like this, bing. That yeah. was Kennedy. I mean, JFK. everybody and his brother was shooting at him. So eventually one of them killed him. Yeah, I mean, you know, he got his head blown off, he got, you know, shot in the neck, shot in the back, shot do you, in the you know. Do you think the government could try to re... Uh, fix somebody like that and they have technology to really fix somebody who has been hurt in those ways yes. and bring him back to life? No. Uh, yes, that, because I was a volunteer fireman. I was an EMT. And we could save anyone's life if we could get them to the um, emergency room within 90 minutes. They weren't dead dead. What if they shot themselves in the head or part, or they somebody yeah, yeah, else no, shot we them did in that. the head? I mean, who would want to live? But yeah, we could keep the body alive. Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, who's going to live like that? You know. Well, go. Okay. Go. Okay, bye. Bye. Go. Bye. Okay, bye.